those DIY jobs, finishing the garden, or even starting a new career. Well, my next guest turned to painting, not painting the house, but painting pictures during lockdown and hasn't looked back. Suzanne Nicholl admits she's a newbie to the art world. However, she's only holding her first solo exhibition coming this week, and I'm very pleased to say that Suzanne joins us now. Hi, Suzanne, how are you? Hi, Faye, I'm good, thank you. Enjoying the sunshine in Cheltenham? Oh, I'm very, very jealous. I'm stuck in a little box in Gloucester. So there we oh, go. Sorry. <laughs> That's all right. <laughs> are, you out, out here. are you out leafleting at the moment in Cheltenham? Yeah, I have a little posse of lovely friends who've come and helped me. So we've just uh, delivered 300 leaflets telling the locals all about my exhibition next week. Oh, wow. Well, congratulations. That's absolutely brilliant to be holding your first exhibition. How are you feeling about it all? Uh, I'm a little mixed, if I'm honest. I'm, I'm, the, the easy bit's been the painting and the framing and it's the uh, getting it down here because I live about an hour away, so it's getting all the painting stand and then hoping people will come and see it. Well, let's uh, give it a big shout-out on the radio today. So um, I've said that you've changed your career. So what did you used to do? So um, I'm a lady of more mature years, and I had a... Um, career as a physiotherapist and uh, a healthcare manager for 32 years and I left in 2017 which was excellent timing because I didn't have the horrendous uh, Covid uh, situation to deal mm. with and I followed the dream of uh, uh, I'd had for a long time and I went off to Malden Art School in 2019. Oh, so a bit wow. of a change career, yeah. So why did you want to study art then? Has it always been in you? Have you always been quite artistic? I've, I've never drawn. I'm not a particularly good drawer, and I think that's um, one of those myths that you've got to be able to draw, and I, I can't draw. And I tried watercolours a couple of times on holiday, and they were awful. <laughs> so I had that real frustration, you know, that I could It's hard, isn't I it, watercolours? Yeah, I, 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 think I understand you're a bit of an artist, aren't you, Faye? So you would know this. Um, but it's that thought of, uh, that frustration that you get when you haven't produced what you want it to look like. So I wanted to be, I wanted to go and get some teaching um, and I've always been creative. I've always, you know, got all the stuff and done all, everything from weaving to pottery, but haven't done painting until uh, 2000, uh, 2020, actually. Yeah. And what's your work like then? Um, I mean, I've, I've read the press around um, some of your stuff, unharnessed landscapes. So what does that mean? Is it quite wild, wild landscapes? Yeah, yeah you won't see much calmness in my paintings. I'm from uh, southwest Wales, so I lived on the coast uh, most of my life, and it was that those storms and the wild weather, and I like I like that it, the emotions that... that um, sparks in you, you know, when you stand out in a big open space, whether it's a field or um, up in the, the Kent Hills where I am up in North Worcestershire or on the beaches, it's that it's that which can't be controlled, you know elements of what man has done to try and harness it, but it's, it's then the decay, I suppose, of seeing old rambling walls and um, rusted objects in, in the natural countryside really, but yeah, that's what I mean by unharnessed well, I've seen some of your work. I can't believe you've been doing this f just for a few years. I mean, you're very, very professional and it's stunning work. Um, so you've got this exhibition coming up between the 12th and the 18th and it's at the Spring Gallery in Montpellier Street. So what do we know about this space? Is it a nice space? It's lovely. So um, Cheltenham, as, you, as you'd expect, has got quite a thriving art scene. So it's got... Uh, this beautiful gallery uh, with a lovely curator called Conrad, so he's been very reassuring. Uh, it's a lovely space, it's all gallery fitted, uh, nice and open, right next to a fabulous cafe, uh, which is always good. Um, yeah, so I've just got to get all the paintings bundled in the car, take them down and then hang them all up next uh I open on Thursday, but I'm hanging on Wednesday. Um, I'm just imagining you on your opening night then, Suzanne. You've got a glass of wine in your hand, <laughs> standing in front of your painting. This one here is um, based on, I don't know, the, the Welsh <laughs> coastline. Um, I mean, it, art is great, isn't it? And it should be accessible to, to anyone and everyone. What, what would you say to anyone thinking about getting creative? Perhaps they've always thought about being a bit more arty have you got a few tips for people to get uh, started no i think it's confidence and i think that 
as we get older, and I think particularly women, you know, we, we hide away our skills and it's difficult sometimes to try something new when you're putting yourself out there because mm-hmm. your paintings and your drawings are very, they're very personal expressions and it, it is a bit vulnerable, you know, showing them to people. You're waiting for a response, but I just say do it. Just have just a go. Yeah. Get a good teacher, go off to class you enjoy um, and, and just keep doing it. You know, I've painted, like you said, in, in lockdown. I had that that time where every single day I was painting, painting and messing around. And we're not talking works of art here. You know, what you see on the walls are the best bits, but there's a whole studio full of very dodgy-looking stuff. So <laughs> you're not going to make it, you know, you're not going to make a brilliant piece the first time. You've got to make, what they, they say, you've got to kiss some frogs before you meet a prince. It's kind of the same with art. Just keep doing it. Yeah, and don't be afraid of failing and, and like you say, making those mistakes that will get you to where you need to... And you need, you know what you need to do next time as well. It's like, oh, that's where I went wrong last time. Absolutely. Well, this is all really exciting. Your first solo exhibition, <laughs> yeah. uh, tw- 12th to the 18th. The work is for sale as well. But, I mean, you're going to be feeling so proud when you see your artwork up on the walls. I will, I will, yeah, because it's a real... Uh, it takes a lot of work. I've been working at it since about last October, and uh, then it's finally all coming together. And of course, it's a last minute rush, even though you've got months to get ready. <laughs> and just to say, uh, say, please don't come on the uh, on the 12th because I'm hanging on the 12th. I'll be very sweaty and very um, shattered and stressy. So <laughs> on the hanging, 30th. all right. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be hanging. Yeah, yes. So yeah. Yeah. All 30th. sense of the word, uh, Suzanne. <laughs> it sounds brilliant, and congratulations to you. I hope it goes. Really Really well, this uh, this first exhibition. Oh, keep you, keep up thank the good work, you. and hopefully people feel inspired hearing your story today. Oh, thank you so much for having me. It was grand. Take You're care. welcome. Take care. Bye bye. There's Suzanne Nichol, who is an artist, and she has this exhibition the 13th until the 18th. Anybody can go along. You can just go and uh, look at her work. You can buy stuff as well. It's at the Spring Gallery in Montpellier Street in Cheltenham. If you've discovered that uh, you have a talent recently and you've just been hiding it under a bushel for all these years,